If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? It's so important that we invest in workforce development training and alternatives for individuals throughout our state to break down generational cycles of poverty and invest back into their community. So I would be a strong proponent of entrepreneurship programs in rural areas. Uh, my district has um, rural areas that folks are crying out for help and assistance, workforce development training, vocational options so that they can develop the skills and the trades in order to provide a quality of life for their families. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Well, I believe in good quality care, but I also believe that we must be sensitive to our local business communities. Um, I'm a, a product of a grandfather who owned a business. My father owned a business. I run a nonprofit organization, and I know what it takes to uh, sign the front of a check. I know what it takes to meet uh, monthly expenses. And so we have to uh, find a gradual approach to ensure that we are not laying folks off and um, the business community is not under attack and they have the ability uh, to provide quality um, care uh, through their um, business venture. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 through education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? Well, as I said before, we need more workforce de development opportunities uh, for uh, young people. Um, I run a nonprofit called Distinguished Young Gentlemen of America. We work with young people every single day. And the most important thing we can do is provide consistent interaction. Uh, we have to prepare them outside of just the test, but we have to provide them the necessary skill sets and resources uh, to understand their futures and their destiny. So I'll be interested in finding innovative approaches and methods to, uh, to work with young people. Um, the whole concept that everyone will go to college is uh, not a reality. Everyone doesn't go to college. And so what are we going to do to ensure that uh, our students are exposed to various vocational options, trade options, and we invest in a way where it is a comprehensive strategic plan towards addressing the economic focuses for the next generations and decades for our state. My name is Ramon Alexander. I'm a candidate for the Florida House of Representatives, House District 8. Uh, my website is RamonAlexander.com. That is www.ramonalexander.com.